What's up everybody, Keith Mitchell here, and I brought you videos in the past regarding getting your DualSense controller working with Windows, either with Steam or with DS4 Win. However, I've noticed a couple people saying that they accidentally been hitting the touchpad while playing a game, which kind of ruins the immersion because it ends up getting them killed or for some other reason. So I figured I would make a quick and dirty video on how to disable the touchpad or to optimize it for your playing experience. Now, just to demonstrate yet again, we are using a DualSense controller. We are using the touchpad and you can see my screen moving around. This is on my Play Night PC setup, which I talked about in the past. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the touchpads completely. So to do this, you need to open up Play Night. I'm sorry, back up. You need to open up uh, the S4 Win. So used to talking about Play Night. And you'll have your controller already configured or controllers. Keep in mind, if you have more than one DualSense controller connected to your PC, you will have to do this for each one. So go to edit, go to touchpad. And right now, by default, it's set up as a mouse, which is why it moves around when you touch the touchpad. You have an option here. You can go down to controls and change it. Now, if you want to disable the touchpad completely, we'll hit apply. And now when we go to uh, play night, it doesn't work at all. It's completely gone. We don't have a touchpad whatsoever. We also don't have functionality with the button, so it won't do anything. Now, if you want to keep the button ability, you can assign controls to these buttons, so to the touchpad. So basically you say, hey, I want swipe up to type something or be a certain button on my keypad. So I'm going to say I want it to be on Y button, which is technically the square or a triangle button. Swipe down is going to be the a button on my xbox or the x for or cross as they call it now cross come on now swipe less would be the x button for xbox which would be the square button and then swipe right would be b or circle now that i've done that save i go back to play night and while the touchpad functionality is gone if i i swiped up it went into the game so if i swipe up which one is it swipe down which one did i make it which one did I make it? Oh, that one. It does that. And it started my game right up for me. So there you go. But if you want to get rid of the touchpad completely, then like I said, I would just go into DS for Windows and it's being weird because I'm playing a game. So let me kill this. As much as I love Axiom Verge, I'm not going to play it right now. It's a great game. You haven't played it. Do you want to disconnect the controllers? No, I do not. I want to change something. So go back to edit. Go back to touchpad, not gyro, touchpad, controls. And if you want to get rid of it, just go to the button and then just unbind it. So hit there, wipe down, unbind. And again, you can make this whatever you want. I'm just here to show you how to do the things. Whatever you want to do is completely and totally up to you. I'm just the educator. Hit apply, hit save. Now we've got rid of everything. So that's this way, the touchpad will not work in any of your games whatsoever. All right? So thanks for watching. And as always, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe to the Outer Hayden Productions. Maybe you like the video. Leave a comment below. Maybe we have other questions regarding PC gaming or getting a DualSense working on your computer. Either way, leave a comment below. Oh, real quick, real quick. This is important. If you are using DS for Windows and Steam, they may conflict with each other. So if you want to use DS for Windows for everything, then go into Steam. In fact, here we'll show you. It would probably be better if I just showed you. So go into Steam. Go to controller settings. And disable PlayStation and Xbox configuration. Because if you don't do that, you're going to run into a problem. Okay? Make sure you do that. If you do that, Steam will work just fine using DS for Win. However, there is, a, there is an exception. Steam now supports Rumble over Bluetooth. DS for Windows does not. However, that only extends to games launching without a Steam. The Steam adds a wrapper using the Steam API. So, if a game won't work under Steam, or if you can't add it to be launched from Steam, you won't get Rumble. But if you're using DS for Windows, you get full access to everything. Just don't have Rumble and LightPass support or LightBar support. So, it really depends on which one you want. Either way, you have two options that are viable for PC gaming. And as always, thank you for watching the video. Leave that comment. Subscribe and like us. Thanks for watching. And yes, this is a PlayStation hat. I do like it because it's cold in here right now. Thanks for watching.